It's quiet today, huh? Hmm. That bell. I think it was the sound of our heart. Has it stopped? Hmm. It stopped. But... Something's still ringing out. Yes. So... So we have to go now. We've got to be with Rex. Mithra. Rex? All in one piece? I guess if you were injured, I'd be feeling it too. Huh? Yes. Uh, I'm okay. Huh. Was I in your lap? This whole time? Hmm. It's like the opposite of when we met. By the way, I can see you're back to your old self. Uh, I mean, thank you. I didn't say anything strange, did I? Talking in my sleep, or grinding my teeth, or snoring, or... I'm such a terrible sleeper. You snore and grind your teeth? Well, not always. It, I mean, it was just a figure of speech, that's all. <laughs> it's okay. What with all the fighting and stuff. You're out for the count. R right. That's good to know. Where are we? Where is everyone? We're under the cloud sea. This must be the place the salvages call the Land of Moritha. I don't know what happened to everyone else. Over there is where we fell. From all the way up there? Looks like there's some kind of powerful updraft coming from below. It saved us. I wonder if it caught the others too. I'm sure it did. Yeah. Still okay? Let's get our bearings and then go look for them. We need to find a way out of here. Any ideas? Over there. Are those... the World Tree's roots? Yeah. I bet there's a way up there. There has to be. I'm good to go. Let's move. Um, how's Pyra? She's sleeping. Shall I call her? Nah. Let her sleep. She's been through a lot. <laughs> You're too kind. Rule five of the salvager code. Always be... I don't think we need to hear it. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Hey, at least let me finish. Spoiled sport.
Really? You got to meet Adam? Yeah. I mean, it's like I have broken bits of memory about him. Adam told me something. He told me to fight for the things that I wanted to protect. I made my choice. I fight for you and Pyra. I mean, I'm still not good enough for you, but... Don't say that. I've made a choice as well. Not to live in fear. Hey, when you transformed before... That form... It's our true nature. The sword changed, right? Uh, yeah. It's not just physically stronger. It also lets us control artifices at will, so be careful. Careful? I mean, don't get carried away. I... I see. Which one of you is it, in that form? Which one? Deep down. It's not one or the other. It's both at once. Like coffee with milk? What kind of a... Ugh, something like that, anyway. So you're Pythra? Myra? It doesn't matter. Pyra, Mithra, they're both me. Call me whichever. Okay, sure. You can transform at will. If I need to. I see. <laughs> what? What are you laughing at? Well, I kind of preferred your hair in that form. It's like that, is it? <laughs> you jerk. That sound. It's the others. Come on. Yeah. I can't... I can't lose to these fools. Uh... Jin? He wound up here too. <sighs> He's still wounded from before. <sighs> Rex? You can't move, right? I can't just let you die, you know? Even if you are, man. Mitra! You must. But don't kid yourself that I think this is a good idea, Rex. Why did you help me? I'm... Our enemy? Yeah, we know that. Even so, it would have been wrong. I just thought... I can't let it end like that. And... No. It's nothing. Hey! What? Those flames! You've got a lot to learn. You've got to burn these monsters up. That, or smash their core crystal. Otherwise, they'll keep coming. Rigid! Poppy! Gramps! Rex! Are you okay? Poppy, find friends! 
Wir be Jin? Oh, really? So you lost Tor and the others? It's fine. Master Pan is not as soft as he look. It's faint, but I can feel the energy signature of Morag's weapons. She must be here too. Okay. Let's rest up, then go look for them. Hey, Rex. What about that scumbag there? Ah. I think I beat him up pretty bad in that fight. I couldn't just leave him to die. I thought it would be something like that. Huh. Your sweet, bleeding heart. So, what are we going to do? Uh... Mithra? Maybe you could, uh... Fine. Whatever. Give me a sec. What awesome power you've acquired. This is the power of the Master Blade. The Master Blade possesses the data of all Blade cores. <gasps> this is... What's wrong? His heart. It's a human heart. Huh? He's... A flesh eater. What? What did you do to me? Easy. You'll be fine. It's not perfect, so be careful with it. Mithra. My name. You still remember it, do you? I guess that makes sense. You never did return to your crystal, did you? <sighs> You're a lucky man, Jin. You've been given the second chance you denied to many brave Ardanians. I doubt your luck would hold up so well if Morag were here. Mithra, didn't you and Jin? Yes. We fought together against Malos once. That's why I need to know. Why? Why did you take Malos' side? You really want to know? You only think you do. If you knew, it'd destroy you too. I can guess. And I can tell you. It didn't lead me to the same conclusion as you. <sighs> Laura. She's in there, isn't she? <sighs> With everything you've done, we can't forgive you. And if you're gonna keep standing in our way in the future, keep trying to destroy the world, we will stop you. But right now... Naive kid. This is the land of Moratha. And it's a place of more wickedness than you can imagine. You know it. This land was destroyed long before all rest existed birthplace of the architect that's what Malos said the architects Jin I know full well there's no easy way to change your mind but hear me out let's regroup and climb up the world tree call it a ceasefire until then okay a united front as you wish it's not like I could take you on in this state, anyway. Can I have a word? Uh, 
I'm Bridget. But I hardly needed to introduce myself to you, did I? You must know practically all there is to know about me by now. The stuff in here, the old me, the me you knew. Is this journal the truth? I need to know if I can trust what I wrote in here. If you knew, you think it would change anything? Explain. The Bridget I knew, well, you aren't her. It's like talking to a whole new blade. Makes sense. There's no going back to who I was. But I still need to know. I want to know what I did, what I really thought. And it seems wrong to just forget about the people who were important to me before. I need to remember them. <sighs> Jin, please tell. Really, Poppy is only just born, doesn't know much. But even Poppy knows stories of old drivers very important. Very precious indeed. Memories of Master Pond very important. Poppy always thinks, must make many more Master Pond memories. So, I'm officially a Tornan driver now. Okay, let's make some memories. Very quiet. It is. Poppy think this world achieved very big technological advancement. Many buildings. Many people. Everybody probably very happy here. But... It doesn't matter how many fancy tricks they learn. Deep down, they're all the same. They thought they were making their lives better with all this stuff, but in the end, it destroyed them. No. It's just a ruin. Poppy was made by technological advancement, too. Will Poppy destroy the world as well? That's my problem, too. If this world is Father's world, the father made me to be as dangerous as any technology. Poppy and Mithra are the same? Yes. Kind of. But if... If Poppy destroys the world, Master Pond might get destroyed too. Maybe Mithra should destroy Poppy. Poppy? Tora created you. You could never do something like that. I know it. But... Hmm. Hey, let's make a promise. Uh, a promise? Yes. That's right, Poppy. Promise that, if you ever look like you're about to destroy the world, 
I will do what you asked of me. But, in return, can you promise me something? What would you like from Poppy? Mithra is scared of destroying the world too? Well, I'm doing my best to stop it coming to that. It's something else. It's... Huh? <laughs> no, actually, nothing. I don't have a request right now. Can I think it over? Of course. Then let's promise. What's this? Master Pun taught it to Poppy. He said it's not on promise ritual. Lift hand up in air, then look together. I see. Mitra! There's no way around. Yeah. Ah! No time to play around. No arguments there. No option but to wipe them out. Let's do it. I didn't know there were monsters like that. Nothing like Allrest, for sure. They've got a rotten knack of healing themselves. Almost like blades. I don't know, but maybe they're leftovers from the culture that created us. This is the architect's world. I guess nothing should come as a surprise. I wonder what kind of person he is. I didn't get to meet him. I mean, I have fragments of memories, blurred images. That's why I want to meet him. To create this awesome civilization? I can't imagine. Awesome? This? Huh? It's a heap of smashed up crap. Look at it. It was melted by a warhead or something. All that's buried here is the hubris of mankind. If the architect was born here, then he must be as flawed as any other. No different from you people of all rest. Why do you hate us so much? What is it that you think we've done? Jin. Mikhail, this is bad. Akos, how deep are we? 28,000 pets. We're nearly at the limit already. It's too much! Any more, and we're... We're nearly out of the cloud seat. Just hold on a bit longer. Yeah, but... What about Jin? Are we just gonna abandon him? Well, I mean... Just a little... Just a little bit more. We're out!
This is the land of Mortha. First time I've seen it. Yeah. Would you look at that? It's nothing to shout about. Just a bunch of ruins. Malos? A testament to their hubris. Their hubris? So, humans lived here? All rest will suffer the same fate. So that's why Jin... Is it really justified? What are you saying? I know why Jin wants to destroy everything. But everything can't mean everything, can it? You're not there yet. That's okay. You'll understand soon enough. Let's cross that bridge when we come to it, huh? Hmm. It's scorched here and there. Traces of the Aegis's battle, I reckon. Must have been some battle. <sighs> What's... The Tornan Titan's Matrix. Even in old Torna, few people knew this place existed. I can scarcely believe it myself. Matrix? Like a womb? <sighs> These are... plates. But they look quite a lot like Titan, too. These are blades that perished in the process of becoming Titans. Titans grow core crystals within their bodies. I believe you've seen this once before. Blades. They aren't truly immortal. They are born from Titans. And when their fire burns out, they return to the Titan that bore them. Eventually, the blades that return transform into Titans themselves. Can that be true? We'll end up like that eventually? Mithra? Yes. It's true. The new Titan has no memory of its life as a blade. Just like returning to a core. These poor souls. They died along with their mother. Shared her fate. So blades are born from crystals, and titans from blades. The titan, in turn, nurtures life. And someday, births new core crystals. Right. That's the life cycle of a blade. It is the way that the architect ordained for the world. Old Torna worshipped this cycle. In Old Torna, we revered the titans feared them it was the sacred foundation of torna a nation where humans and blades lived in harmony but humans couldn't live like that a battle with malos marked the end it wasn't long after you 
and Adam left Torna. He did it. That worm of Malthus. The Praetor? What did he do? The one who really destroyed this place? It wasn't the Aegis. It was him. Huh? Find them! They must be somewhere nearby! You'll just go to sleep. Someone will find you, reawaken you, someday. For us humans, being forgotten is a much worse fate than death. We struggle so hard to make our mark on the world. When you awaken, to you, it'll be like I never even existed. Jin. The thought of you forgetting me, it's like one heart is being ripped in two. I won't forget you. I refuse to forget you. How could I ever? I thought I was ready for this. But now the time has come. I'm hopeless. I'm so sorry to do this to you. There is one way. One final chance. A way that we can be together. I ate her. <gasps> Me? 
Maybe we shouldn't have left. I never knew. Amalthus was afraid of the Aegis's power. After Malice was defeated, he tried to wipe them out. The remnants of Torna were annihilated in the attempt. But... You'd already vanished by then. So we were slaughtered. For nothing. <sighs> no, even if he wasn't trying to get you, Amalthus and the humans... ...would have done what they always do. We're the Architects' children. We turn into Titans, the ground beneath their feet. But they feared us. So that's the reason he attacked you? To save the world? No. His real desire for Elysium... ...is his desire for the Architects' power. Amalthus wants to use it to wipe out Blades and Titans. So that's why he was taking care of Rex and the Aegis. Even so, even if that's true, you lot and Amalthus, you're the same. Didn't you say you wanted to destroy the world? Take out the Architect himself? I did say that. You know, I'm not so sure. What? I don't buy it. I can't believe that's what you're really trying to do here. Why do you say that? Haven't we... I could tell when we were fighting. I saw it in your eyes. The sadness. It was the look of someone who just wanted to die. Someone with no other way out. <sighs> you know, it was the way Pyra looked the first time we met. You don't know what you're talking about. Keep your stupid comments to yourself. You better believe we'll do it. We will destroy the one responsible for this world. And we will destroy all the humans who lived by his mercy. We are sick of being used as tools by humans. Well then, there's only one thing to do. As I thought. What's that? They're not really alive. Just autonomous cybernetic organisms. Once their central control is gone, they're programmed to act on their own. To destroy. These guys? Testaments to human hubris. Now do you see? Jin! Hyra! Use the artifice! It's no use! The Cloud Sea is interfering! I can't give it commands! Damn! So it's all down to us, huh? Hyra! Move in close if you can get a shot! Then get Mitra to use foresight! Quick as you can! Understood! Ready to go! Okay! Let's do it! Lightning! Could it be? Look! Rex Rex! Rex! Hyra! You okay? Jin? What the hell? That can wait. First, deal with that. Okay!
This is... Rex Rex? What's matter? Find something. Uh... No. It's nothing. We talk about what to do next. Rex Rex should join. Uh, yeah. Okay. It can't be. Climb up the world tree to the top? Very, very tiring. It doesn't look that far from here to the surface, at least. We can manage that, surely. Don't you ever quit with that optimism, huh? <laughs> Rex, I can see why you've brought Jin, but I advise you not to let your guard down. Morag? Got a point. I don't need your remorse now, Jin, but when we're past this crisis, I'm taking you in. I owe it to my leader and to my people. If you resist, we'll kill you. Bridget and I. Yes. Morag! What? Another monster? What is it this time? Masterpun! Above! It's the Minosaurus. Are they here for Jake? That's Jim. What's he doing with them? Weird. Let's ask questions later, huh? After we finally smashed huh? him up. Seriously? Well, okay. Hmm. Jen? Yes. Don't attack, he says. What? But it's the perfect chance. Huh. I told you not to attack! You sly devil. Hid that one up your sleeve, didn't you? No idea why he said that, but he must have his reasons. Huh? You can't be too predictable, right, Mick? Sounds like a plan. Never seen that side of Jin before. Let's bring him up. Then, it's world tree climbing time. Yes, sir. Bridget. Huh? You're still... like you used to be. Jim. That's a bit unsporting of them, using a giant boat. We must hurry. The longer we wait, the bigger their advantage. Yeah, we gotta go, Rex. Gramps, you knew, right, about Jin? Indeed. Why didn't you tell me? He is not like Malos. To be honest, I didn't know if you could handle it. You care too much at times. Hmm. Jin and Malos must be defeated. Who knows how that'll turn out. But facing them is Pyra and Mithra's unavoidable fate. So, I kept quiet. Pyra and Mithra's fate? She shoulders the burden of sustaining your life. Rex, what burden are you taking for her? Can you live for something and hold true to it? Yeah. Of course. I'm living for them. Pyra and Mithra. I see. Well, I guess you're okay then. Just be sure to walk your own path, Rex. Believe in yourself. Rex! Old man, what are you doing? Huh? Old man? Sorry, wait up!
Your Majesty, yesterday we sealed Section 47. I see. This is even faster than the surveys estimated. Furthermore, we've detected surges of geothermal energy in the Royal Precincts. So we can't hold out for long. Even here. The ether flow is the lifeblood of the Titan. The temperature is increasing with its age. Perhaps we should hasten moving the capital to Gormod. We've only just recalled the Consul. And with no good explanation to the Gormati. We don't want to sow discord for no benefit. It's just, I fear time is running short. Indeed, but not only for us. Gormot is fertile for now, but the harvests have been declining for years. It's like a cry issuing up from the centre of the world. <sighs> Your Majesty, what is it? Nothing. Just my imagination. My sister, where are you now? The Great Void, it's almost completely gone. After all, the Great Void was Ophion's doing. Yes, indeed. So with Ophion gone, the Great Void could not support itself. If only we were above the surface, we could easily cross. I mean, it doesn't look impossible to climb, but it's nastier than any mountain, that's for sure. Everyone, here! Pyra! The insides of the World Tree. I'd never a thought. It seems to be an artificial tower, enveloped by gargantuan plant life. It seems like we could use this to travel up. Up? Pyra? What did you do? Honestly, I'm not sure myself. It's like my body is remembering something all by itself. It must be... another power granted to the Master Blade by Father. So, we need to hurry. Why? Well, this was hardwired into my brain, so... Malos must have the same thing. Not good. Seems this is some kind of elevator. That's some fancy glazing. Ooh, you never were good with heights. Shut your eyes. Let's go. You can die when we're done. We made it this far. I don't plan on giving up. Damn. If Judicium hadn't gone down, we might have got you some better treatment. Uh -huh. When human cells are woven into the body of a blade, they awaken strange abilities. That's good enough for me. This'll do fine. Even though she'd hate you for it, right? I know Laura wouldn't have wanted this. Even so, I've got to keep my promise. 
All right. I'm with you. All the way. <sighs> hey, Jin. You better not get sentimental. I found the ruins of Torna, down in Moratha. Oh. There were half-rotted blades there. Couldn't grow into titans. They must have lived on for a while down there. A man once said, live together with the humans. Really, we were just living for the humans. That was what the architect ordained for us. And look what we became. You're still sure about what you want, right? That thing. It's a reminder. To remind me what a fool I was to ever have faith in the architect. Rex Rex look worried. Maybe Rex Rex lost wallet? It's not that. Oh, I see. Well, maybe your worry is your wallet's empty. Well, that's true. I don't work much these days. Hey, why are you so interested in my finances all of a sudden? What is up with you, kid? You've been a right gloomy guts lately. Hmm. I was thinking about Amalthus. If what Jin said is true, the Praetor doesn't just hate blades, but humans too. I mean, he basically hates the whole world, seems like. How so? In old Torna, humans lived together with blades that eventually became titans. So destroying Torna was the same as destroying the titans. Amalthus must have known that the Titans have been dying off over the last few centuries. Cannot live without Titans. Everybody go bye-bye. Maybe the Praetorium saw it as an obstacle to their power. If the Blades were becoming Titans and creating new land, people might have more faith in the Blades. If a new faith emerged, it would threaten the Praetorium and its dogma. I understand that much. That's just war and politics. But... Rex? Hating people, hating yourself. Where does it end? What do you do when you hate the whole world? You mean... Destroy it. That's all that's left. Tell me I'm wrong. That's a leap of logic, but I think a lot of mortals are like that. Do you remember? Talking to the Praetor. I said it felt like talking to Malos. Yeah, you did say that. It's a funny thing. Malos and the Praetor, they want the same thing.
What is it? Leaving you alone in the world like this. I failed you as a mother. Huh? But... Mother! Forgive me. Where's she going? Stop! Stop! Here! She went this way! Mother! Mother! Mother. Your Eminence, we'll be exiting the Cloud Sea shortly. What? Below. A dark mass in the Cloud Sea. It's... Ready? Ready. The ship will get you as far as the boundary layer. We can drop you and Malos off there. 
We'll have to. All rest ships can't make it past the boundary layer. Yeah. No sweat. Jin, you are okay with this, right? Mikhail. Hmm? Take care of Laura. Jin? Akos, fire up the blade bots. Time to strike. Jin! Malos! Indol. They got here sooner than we thought. They gave up on the boy pretty quick. No surprise. Hatch open. Ready to launch. Okay. Launch! Well, no way I'd ever have guessed the World Tree was like this on the inside. It definitely appears to be man-made. Created by the same civilization as Moritha. The birthplace of the Architect. That's what Jin called it. Then maybe the Architect built this thing. Do you really think we're going to find him at the top? And Elysium too? From what we saw in Moritha, it seemed like all that stuff happened a gazillion years ago. Or maybe two gazillion. I don't know. Not even Titans live that long. Even Pyra and Mithra have never actually met him. But this tower's right here. It's real. So... Seeing is believing, is the phrase. Hmm? We'll just have to find out for ourselves. There's no use speculating. Nia, what's wrong? His tummy started rumbling. Oh, Father. Every time with you, it's, have you lost your wallet? Or, are you hungry? Is that really all you can think of? Meh. Tora thought food is only thing that makes Nia all, um, growly, growly. Watch it, Furball. What is Nia's problem? That's not a nice way to ask, Poppy. But I let it slide. There's something I want to ask you, Blades. Tell the truth. Have you ever wanted to extend your life? Avoid returning to our cores? Yeah. That's a tough question. I would like to keep learning about my former selves, but to keep living after Morag is dead, Oh, I'm sorry. No, I understand. <sighs> the idea of living on without her does not appeal to me. Yeah, same here. I want my memories of the prince to be just between us. You're going to make me blush, Pandy. Jomak? As long as I'm by my lady's side till the end, then I'm satisfied. Poppy is artificial blade, so it is very sad for me to think about. When Master Pawn is gone, Poppy will be widow. Well, not quite, but I get where you're coming from. Pyra? Well, I... It's different for you, right? You've been alive for a few centuries. Did I ask you? Pyra, what do you think about it? Really? Hey! Sometimes I wonder why I have to keep on living forever. Just on and on, no end in sight. But it's different now. I'm glad I've stayed alive all this time. Parting is always sad. But it's just part of the deal of being me. Though... Maybe... 
Maybe one day I'd be happy to close my eyes forever. With someone special. There. By my side. Pyra. That's how Pyra. Thanks, guys. Thanks for sharing with me. So, what made you ask? I'm a flesh eater. So, I don't know how long I'll live for. I mean, for all I know, I might just sniff it tomorrow. My lady. But I can say this much. My life and death isn't tied to any human. And? It's Jin. I've been wondering. Jin was collecting core crystals. But why didn't he use them? Doesn't he hate humans? He could use them to create blades, then turn them into flesh eaters. He could expand Torna with no need for humans in the mix. They do lack numbers. Is that all of them? Yeah. It's just the five of them. That's it. When Malos suggested getting Obrona and Akos to resonate, Jin was dead against it. So I think maybe... Maybe Jin fears the same way as us. The same way as us? I think maybe that's why he won't resonate with anyone. An explosion? A battle, perhaps. So, this is what the world trees really like. These, they aren't leaves. They're glyphs. Hey, look! An old Tornan warship. Didn't think there'd be any of those left. Never mind that. What's this? I had no idea Indo could make it up this high. Cloud sea, long way down. It appears that Indo has modified their Titan as old Temperantia did with theirs. But that much firepower. I did not know Indo possessed so much force. No need to ask what they plan to do with it. They anticipated it. That Jin and Malos would try to ascend. So, Jin is inside that thing? Yes, no doubt. Let's hurry. We can't let them make it to Elysium. You know you can't control it. I hear you've been promoted. 
by the Praetor. You? Why? <laughs> Just thought I'd come and say goodbye. Would you rather I leave without saying anything? Goodbye? What would compel you to leave me? You are my... I've got full control of all my powers now. It doesn't matter if you die. I can keep on going. What are you saying, Malos? The Praetorium, the Believers, I despise them all. Humans aren't fit to breathe our air. So, I'm going to give you what you always wanted. But I never... I'm clearing out the worthless. Isn't that why you sought the Architect? Why you climbed the World Tree? Yet look at you now. There must be someone out there who can use this core. I'll send them after Malos. Indoline warrior monks. To the Aegis and her driver, we're here to pass on an order from his eminence. You are to use the Aegis's power to bring down that ship. Huh? What's wrong? This is your duty, Pilgrim. My only duty is to open the way to the World Tree. You cannot do it? If so, then we must take the Aegis into custody. I get it now. They just wanted to use Mithra's power to burn up their little problem. Nothing new under the sun. I didn't say we couldn't do it, but we have to stop Jin. Tell your boss that's what we're doing, okay? We don't negotiate holy decrees. If you don't comply, then prepare for righteous chastisement. They're gonna tell the Praetor that we're... Huh? Bridget! <laughs> Mithra! Tumak! Go... <sighs> what? What on? Something? Someone? This effect... Can it be? Please forgive my interference. Time runs short. A... Uh, a Malthus. That's... Hayes's core crystal. Van Lenorn's. Oh, that's it, all right. The other half. What is it? Nia? Uh, a Malthus. He took Van Lenorn's core crystal. He's using... Her power. <gasps> Not only that, this is in fact my original primal power. Mitra! The, the artifice! Uh, no! S stop! Mitra! Mitra! Ah! 
Is that the artifice? Is it the Aegis? <laughs> no. But who? A Malthus. A Malthus? He's my driver, and I'm an Aegis. If that energy gets any stronger, you won't just control the blades, but Mithra too. <sighs> A Malthus. You never disappoint. I am the driver of the Master Blade. Bow before me, the Master Driver. I possess the power to command all blades. Every blade alive. Indeed, even the very Titans are under my control. That must be how he repelled the attack. Sooner or later, he'll control us too. Don't worry, half-breeds like you won't come under his control. Sure, he can dampen your power. But that's why we built those things. Mikhail's creations will not submit to Amalthus's control. And neither will this bucket of bolts. We're nearly at the boundary layer. Jin, Malos, get ready. Roger. Malos, let's move. Yeah. Mikhail, Akos, Petroka. It's up to you now. Sure. Yeah, we get it. Hey, when you see our daddy, dear, tell him thanks for everything from me. ship stopped moving looks to me like they're gonna try and get inside amalthus we're gonna stop Jin, but you've got to stop this you're speaking nonsense boy now is the hour of their doom you leave me no choice but to perform your duty for you destroying Jin and torna we're only trying to stop them not kill them believe you can sway them with words of reason? Well, yes! Jin told me what happened, what happened 500 years ago. And you were the cause of it, weren't you, Praetor? I was nothing but the mouthpiece of the architect. When I meet him, I'll ask him myself. About me, about Pyra and Mithra. his driver. There's nothing he can do that you can't. Does that mean... Rex, it's true. Power depends on the heart of its wielder. Right? Okay. I... 
I won't let him get away with this anymore. He's just manipulating humans and blades alike. That's not the Architect's will at all. Give it up for Malthus. You can leave Jin and the rest to us. Where are they? The tree. Soon Malos will activate Ion. If we can hold this position and prevent the scum from ascending, then victory is ours. Okay then. We've got to go all out. The Vortex! Your Eminence, the Tower. At peace, brother. The field of effect is only a little reduced. Hmm, it is drawing near. Gather the brothers together. We must exterminate the vermin! No soul alive may sully! The Architect's presence! <laughs> <laughs> 